So this is what is needed for the next project, which is the salt technique with the same colors. So for this one, I'm working on one spot, usually in the corner, but I move that closer to the center so you can see what I'm doing. And um, I just keep the because the, there is lots of lots of color and paint underneath already on the surface. Then um, I just make sure that I'm applying the the colors were the previous on the same spot where the previous were and uh, it's quite saturated and what is it prepared for it needs to have really saturated silk to to pull out the paint with what the solve what we are doing here now. So now I like to have a flowing pattern. So I will move this to say but I will then lift it. Lift it. See so the color will actually run through the silk and create a uh, additional pattern. And then uh, I'll just put it down and where I want to have the the salt effect, then I'll, I'll try to keep it kind of plan straight. And um, then I sprinkle a little bit of painting salt on it. And the important thing is that I will not move the silk so so the uh, the salt can actually pull out the pigment. about it. Now you can see how nice the salt is pulling the pigments and you can interrupt or stop the process anytime you want. You know you decide how much of these salt effects you like to have in there. So when you feel like it's done, then just shake it off and, and let the rest dry, or it may be already dried. So it's up to you, but now you can see what you can do with uh, loose salt effects. So now, uh, uh, I like where is it now. I like to interrupt the, the process, the, the silk working, um, the salt working on the silk. So just to just to prevent that the salt is going on my working surface, then I'm just taking the silk on the corners and shaking off the, the salt right away. And then um, it's still damp, then I will, I will let it dry and finish in a different spot so I can continue. <laughs> so now everything is done. Um, just few pointers to the salt technique. To get the uh, strongest effect, um, use a heavier silk. Here I'm using the Ponge 8 or Habotai or China silk. All refer to the same thickness or weight of silk. And uh, and when you are apply, when you are applying the 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 salt. Well, I'm using specific salt for silk painting, which is, uh, you know, larger kernels. And uh, the only thing you need to you need to uh, focus on, um, in addition to what I already said, is don't uh, don't have puddles of um, of paint on your silk because you would the, the silk will drown. So if you just want to, if you have a, a silk stretch on a stretcher, it's the best, it dries more, more quickly. But you can also spread it as I did here and uh, just watch the paddles. So that's basically what you need to, what you need to know. And I'm very happy with uh, what I did here. So much success to you.